Hey twins, welcome to Lovers Lane. This is Kelly coming to you with your early day reading. Okay, so y'all, my sleeping pattern got thrown off and I took that nap yesterday. And then Goldie woke me up. I didn't go to sleep till five. Goldie woke me up at like eight thirty. So I'm operating off three hours of sleep right now. We'll be doing our peak at this week live. Okay. So y'all do have me for that. Trying to get these personals out the way. Sage yours is uploading. Um Julia, you're next. And then after Julia is Sharon. And then after Sharon is Carmelita. Car Let me say it right. Carmelina. Sorry, darling. And um, if you booked any personals with me after that, then you're in line after that. So Julia, you're next. And then Sharon. And then Carmelina. Just so y'all know what the order is. All of you all have uh, 60 minute readings. So. Do you want to start Gemini off with, sir? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Ooh, okay. It's kind of crossed. I need you to go in one direction or the other, spirit. Either upright or reverse. What does Gemini need to know? Gemini, what you want to show about? Is everything coming out false? What you want to show about? Somebody in conflict about something here. Alright, what we have? 28. Number 28. Okay. So, this is number 28 here. Protection, alignment, dare to dream, letting your imagination take over, creating the future, going down the rabbit hole. You are making plans for the future. It's important to let your imagination run wild as a part of this process. It's time to go down that rabbit hole of possibilities. Right now, have fun with it. Bring your vibration up and imagine all the roles you could possibly step into. How does each one make you feel? Does it fill you up and empower you and inspire you? Or does it feel disempowering? If it feels good, expand on it. What are the steps that will get you there? And what will it feel like when you achieve it? Whatever it is. During this process of imagining, you are creating a new and wonderful future. No matter what leap of faith you are considering at this point, you must know that you are coming into alignment with your soul's true purpose and you are protected and carried by the angels. Take an exciting leap forward and bring the changes you have envisioned to life. So I feel like this is just, um, Gems, y'all really needing to step into your power on something that you want to create. Like, I feel like it's in your mind. You're envisioning your, oh, I hate that, I'm trying to get it out. Envisioning it, but it's something holding you back from actually putting in the the work. Okay, I don't know if it's the research or what it may be, but it's something kind of that's just like holding you back a little stagnant. Y'all know I haven't done a tea leaf in a minute. Let's see what's going on here. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So see what I'm saying? So some of you could be definitely doing something from home, wanting to do something from home. So it's like, are you really putting in all the extra effort that you could? Okay. Because you know, when you're, when you give birth, right? Um, even with conception, right? The thought. Okay. Even with the thought of an idea, you have to nurture it. It's like a plant. You have to water it. 44, as I say that, it's protected, definitely. You have to uh, water it. You have to, you know, give it some sun. You have to give it a little you know, 
plant food, soil food. So it's about are you really nurturing whatever this is that it is that you want? We have here temporary situation. Okay. Um, success, successful outcome to your problems. So for some of you, if it's a home situation, it's only temporary, spirit is saying. A sincere wish will be granted, needle and thread. So there's going to be a successful outcome. Some of you, you may be moving. You may get the keys to a new place is what I'm saying here. We have the harp. Yes, great happiness. And then we have diamond. You will be, you will be receiving or giving a precious gift. Okay. So somebody getting engaged here. For some of you. I might just see diamond, but maybe somebody wants to give you a gift. Look, crown. Honor and respect will come to you. This is a beautiful energy, Gemini. A short journey. November. So November could be very significant. Could be a Sagittarius. Or a Scorpio involved here. Wow. Four leaf clover. Great. Good fortune. So something could be coming for you in November. And then we have fly. Oh, Lord. A period of ill health or depression. Somebody may go through seasonal depression. Okay. So just be mindful of that, okay? Uh, when the seasons change, just notice your mood, your temper, and, you know, whether your energy goes down. Romance, celebration, party, fan. So some of you may be getting some invitations soon. And then I said, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal, okay? And then we have wreath, sorrow over a loss. Then I say this, look, broom, new home, new attitude. <sighs> Let's see what this is. Some sort of loss here. It had to be something, didn't it, Jeff? You say you can't have all this good. Without some bullshit going on. something i call myself getting some food and the food was terrible they had a refund in my money so that didn't work out so i'm about to go ahead and cook me something oh y'all the lobster tails came out so good oh my gosh but of course i had to put my own little spin on it but them suckers was everything and then i had ended up getting some jumbo crabs and some um some shrimp so I have you like a little fake little seafood, little shandy. Sorry, you weren't fake. I had been a nice little seafood shandy. Me with my son. He was like, oh, yeah, you over there getting it. I say, baby, what? Dad's watching one of my little favorite shows. Six of Pentacles. So there's someone I feel like in a love connection that could definitely come in uh, unexpectedly. And this is going to be someone that you and them are going to gravitate towards one another. What is the sorrow over this loss? This is, I just keep glancing over at it. I want to get it out the way. What is the sorrow over a loss? Ooh. What is the sorrow? Judgment, King of Wands. Okay, so something that you may were holding on to, I feel like you're going to release. The four one, I mean four swords. Something you could have been holding on to, you're going to release. I feel like this cycle is closing. This could be someone that you lost. Okay. The fool in the reverse. Interesting. Why put in the reverse? Two of cups. Okay, so some of you, the issue maybe of what kept you kind of stuck, delayed, or stagnant. 
is that you you could have felt like there was no closure in this situation here. Um, I don't know. You guys could have broke up on bad terms or something here. But I feel like you're really, yes, I love it. You, you're being renewed. You're going to be able to move forward, Gemini. You are. But I just say definitely, you know, don't allow yourself to trick yourself out of something. Yeah, because of grief and, you know, don't hold it in. If you feel like you got to cry, honey, cry that stuff on out. Get it out your system. Get it out your system. King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. What about this King of Pentacles? Something is going to be revealed about a King of Pentacles here. I feel like some sort of truth. Five of Pentacles, you may find out that this person is going through some sort of financial troubles or issues. Three, oh, damn, damn. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Damn, now you said that's not your problem. Damn, that's what I'm saying. Jim, you said that's not my problem. Yeah, there's an unexpected connection I feel like coming in. Yeah. Or I'm also saying, too, some of y'all could have walked away from the situation with somebody thought they were going to break from you. Okay. Yeah, you could have been dealing with an Aquarius here. This person's been blocked. This person, I feel like, is going through an ego death. They haven't completely made the change yet, but it's coming. This person, is they wanted to reach out to you. So, I'm seeing, Jim, that you and this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords energy. Okay, so look, they playing it. I'm not for the end, but I have a plan. <laughs> oh, oh, Gemini, you say no, it's blocked. Intuition already says, mm-mm. So you feel it. You feel these people trying to come back towards you. And I feel like now that they're going through all these freaking problems, now they want to come back towards you. And you're blocked off with the nine of wands. Six of well, yeah, you don't block anything from the past, baby. And a lot of you, you feel like you already know these people think they're gonna come back and think they're gonna get they won with. Mm hmm. I think they're gonna have you in some third party BS. Look, three of cups, what I tell you, think they're gonna have you in some third party BS. But what they fail to realize, you're very careful about what you invest your time and energy into. Mm -hmm. You don't buy into illusions that keep you stuck. So, while they haven't completely learned their lesson, you damn sure have. Okay, so, you know, you've taken back control of your life, uh, Jan. Some of y'all, this could be a child's father that's planning on how they can come back towards you. Somebody may be in jail here. Thank you. From them playing mind games and keeping secrets. This could be their karma. The hermit. Knight of Cups. You have a Virgo that's getting ready to come in and try to think they're going to smooth talk you too. They think they control some shit here. 
Oh, Lord, seven of swords, but you blocking their ass out, too. <laughs> just I say, look, everybody on block. Okay, look, just go. If you're from the past, if we haven't been talking, we ain't talking. Okay, but like, you over here too damn happy to let these fools come over here and think they're going to have you in this depressive-ass state. Uh-uh. And you already know what the hell they coming for. Thank you. The layup. Come in and out. Lay up when I'm telling you the truth. Try to have you all emotional and all over the fucking place. You see this? No, you're focused on your future. I just feel like they need to get out of your energy. I can say that. They feel all this good stuff coming towards you, you and I. They really, truly do. mother could want revenge or something here. Ten of Pentacles, King of Candles, King of Wands, the Chariot. This is in the reverse. This didn't go. Yeah. This is somebody you can move on from. But somebody wants some sort of revenge here. Why are the five of swords here? What is the five of swords about? The pull on a reverse. Four of swords. And the double. Ooh. This is a comic lover here. Ace of Cups. Man, some of y'all, y'all have moved on. Whoever this is, it never even resulted in a relationship. So what do they bother? What do they want to come bug you for? Somebody you walked away from. You didn't give a shit whether they had money or not. Like the fuck? Like, child, look, move on. Whoever this is, it's somebody's spouse or some shit. Like, child. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth, okay? Plenty of material things. You have a lot of good shit coming in for you, Gemini. Um, and you will be taken care of during a difficult situation. Um, somebody. <laughs> I just need to get over it, like, for real, and move the heck on. Like, somebody is really harping on you over some shit that you, nothing even transpired from this. Judgment in the moment, man. Mm. could be somebody twin. Yeah, but I'm telling you the truth. There's some truth and clarity coming in here. Because I'm getting ready to turn this here. That's going to have the wheels spinning forward. But in a good way. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to be very happy about it, Gemini. Especially for my single Geminis. 
Maybe for some of y'all, y'all might be getting ready to be single. Mm -hmm. Something's going to try to possibly have you a little stuck. What is this communication? The eight of candles. What is the eight of candles here? There's a Virgo that you done healed from. This person is stuck on you, Gemini, trying to have some sort of hope and faith that y'all can reconcile, but it's a no-go. The Page of Pentacles is in the reverse. It's a no-go. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're not with it. Like This person wouldn't make the sacrifices that they needed to make. You've seen all you needed to see. And I feel like you already know what this person is coming back for. They come in and you go the hell back out. Try to have you feel like they want to want to invest and work on things and all this other shit. And all I keep saying is pinnacles. I don't see nothing dealing with no damn cups. So it ain't no point. Tell them you got your pinnacles, they got theirs. Exactly. The shit is dead. So... All that them thinking you gonna compete and argue, fuss and fight. Anybody that's coming to you with conflict and drama, you are going the opposite direction. So hopefully they know that you got too much fly stuff going on right here, Jimmy Nine. This is you being on your fly right now. Okay, you got bigger fish to fry. You have good things coming into your life. Nobody has time. To be arguing with folks who, like, are they worth the words? You know what I'm saying? Are they worth the words, the air? Like, are you worth it, bro, him, sister? Are you worth it? Purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously discriminate, uh, demonstrate love. Gratitude, you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents you. And then we have expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Respect. You value everyone's unique perspective. <coughs> Excuse me. On the path to love. Self-love, you realize that love of self is necessary to love another. Ownership, you acknowledge your misdeeds and it and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons and friendliness you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections so if people try to tell you you the problem in connections Gemini, that's not always true babe a lot of times people don't want to look at themselves and they don't want to take somebody here about to get a settlement here Wow, some of y'all may get a settlement and go on a honeymoon. Somebody's about to have a divine epiphany, okay? So somebody could be looking at you, though you're very tempting right now. I told you, somebody pleading for help. Somebody is on borrowed time for something. Somebody was too busy flexing. So somebody's having some sort of financial issues. This player, then I tell you financial obligations, bitch. Don't do it. They think they gonna come in, think they gonna dick you down or coochie you down right quick, and you gonna help them out with whatever or bail them out or whatever the hell they in. Yeah, I told you somebody hanging on by threads. Somebody, somebody, big regret. Expect a drunk dial. This person the whole time living a double life. And they're looking at it now as a missed opportunity. Yeah, because you're up and coming. You're in the spotlight. Some of y'all, y'all got something going on where y'all get a lot of recognition here. Okay? There's a new love interest coming, baby. But they may be in, exi they may be in an existing commitment. Okay? So, let's see. I don't know. Somebody feels like... They want to offer you real love. This could be someone, a friend. They have hangover, friendship. 
So we have happy. Okay. Oh, honey. So you been happy over here, honey. Got somebody over here going through a fucking rage, bitch. <laughs> Wait a minute. They feel like they going through a rage, honey. Give us something about this new love and this existing commitment. What is this about? The sun could be a Leo, Aquarius. Somebody sees you as a star, Gemini. They feel like you're happy. You make them happy. You make them happy, 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 happy. Why don't you make me happy? Ooh, this is somebody you may have had some. Oh, uh, y'all had some sharp words, man. When this person I had some sharp. Ooh. So this may be a karmic, or you feel like this person is toxic. Okay. With the hermit. How can they go through one another? Why don't you make me happy? Oh, this person been doing spells in the background, huh? Gemini, why, God, why people feel like that's the only way they can control us? They want to get into doing spell work or thinking they can bend us to their will. We don't, it don't work like that. Yeah, now they want to come and offer you love or something here. You have the justice. So that's over. Whatever they were sending to you. Ooh. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. Something, uh. Something is backfired. Something has backfired. So somebody here, they're losing their stability. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody has been dethroned. My ego got checked. Okay, look. Now they want to reconcile. They want to communicate. This could be the damn, uh, it's a Taurus. Yeah, Taurus and Virgo here. Well, Capricorn too. The devil is here. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody's sleeping with somebody on their job. They'll lie. Look, they'll lie. Very good. I feel like that's that mofo, honey. Ooh, let me find out. What they think? They going to get a, a, a credit on their account? Are they <laughs> trying to sleep with somebody? Uh, one of they debt collectors, they can't pay the bill. I'm telling you, honey, the thing, honey, that cycle is done. The wheel is spinning forward motion for you, Gemini. And yes, people gonna want to come in, argue, fuss, fight, compete, all that. You're not doing none of it. You're not doing any of it. Yes, look. Somebody here worried that you about to get new love, though. Tell them how they business. Mind your business. Yeah. Oh, somebody thought, honey, they hurry up and get you pregnant. I told you, some of y'all, somebody just knew they got you in that bed, child. It'll change their whole little world. Yeah, they trying to hold on for their life. Somebody is trying to possess you. Ooh, that's what I just heard. Trying to possess you. But your ass move the hell on. Yes, Gemini. And you're definitely open to dating. You let them come in with their little charm and all that. Had them thinking they was doing something, child, just for them to still get the same result. Why don't you make me happy? Okay. 
Just making a bad, 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 bad. You and somebody don't having an emotional affair. I told y'all, some of y'all, y'all ain't cross no line. Like I said, I don't know if this is this, this the one about this damn spouse or whoever the fuck this is. They want to watch and hawk and do spell work and evil eye and all that other dumb shit they don't. But, uh, yeah. Somebody over here is raging. I feel like this is that person. Who, well, honey, yes. Somebody here was on a power trip, baby, and the power got turned off. <laughs> The circuit, the circuit blue. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me, honey. Somebody was on a power trip in the circuit blue. <laughs> Let me go get something to eat. And I'm sleepy. Look, three, 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 thirty, thirty, three. I said it, baby. And for the ass of saying, I got you. <laughs> okay, I got you. There are new friendships coming in for you, Gemini. I'm telling you, wishing, yes. You got people that's wanting to work with you. There's an emotional release that needs to happen here. Some of y'all hanging on by a thread. Y'all want a new job. Alright, there could be some new, uh, some missed opportunities to work with someone or someone is regretting missing an opportunity with working with you. Yeah, old flame. Honey, you, yeah, you on your journey to real love. You leaving that double life shit over there with those who want to live that life. You keeping your energy pure. And that's why I say somebody feels as though they know they're running out of time. This person is feeling lonely as hell. Having repetitive thoughts. Somebody keeps replaying something over and over again. And somebody is raging because they thought they were going to make you a mistress with a love spell. I told you I knew somebody was doing some goddamn spell work. Somebody wants you to be their mistress. Nobody got time for that. Can't get jiggy with that shit. Okay. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with that, Jim? Being somebody's mistress. What they going to do for you? How that's going to level you up in life? You know what I'm saying? Don't be trying to have you out here. On everybody else's little boat. You know what I'm saying? 32, 32. Change. 10 cycles. Mercury retrograde. Something. Either the last one we had was significant. Oh, the next one will be significant honeymoon. So some of y'all may attend someone's wedding, maybe traveling. We have let go, make room for the new beginning on its way to the name. Okay, look, intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscence of somebody reminiscing. What is this health issue? Communication is in the reverse. Guardian, so somebody here. Ooh, spirit say no. <laughs> so somebody you ain't talking to, it's not meant for you to speak to this person. But something you don't either already know fully. But spirit say it's not meant for you to speak to this. Person. Yep, what did I say? Because somebody gonna come and have some sort of confession. Somebody gonna come and tell you something. Ain't gonna be no vacation. Okay, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, we have Gold Digger. Then we have uh. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, caution, find out more, don't overwork yourself. So, somebody here could be dealing with somebody that's strictly with them for money, cycles, what I tell you. Cycle with a fire sign, that is done. Karma, something ending, something beginning, faded. You know, we have patience. Yep, look, love spell, earth sign, divorce, narcissist, moving. Oh, so somebody could be getting their ass put the hell out. Somebody is getting a divorce, okay? They have to move. They're moving out. God damn. This person could be a narc, okay? Somebody here was definitely doing love, too. Spirit say, let go, baby. Let go. Okay, so what I wanted to 
y'all. So I'll close it out with a spur message. I've been saving some of the energy for um for the ticket this week for tonight. Like I said, that'll be live. Spirit is encouraging you to keep going. Life has its lessons, but don't let it discourage you. Whenever life seems not to go as expected, don't count it as a fail. Remember that spirit is guiding you through it all. Let go of fear of the unknown. We often have fear of the unknown because we are attached to the familiarity. Um, spirit is encouraging you to face the unknown with a brave heart. And remember that you are never alone. Spirit says it is time to let go of the past, whether it be a past lover, past trauma, or past memories. Accept it for what it is and remember the lessons it taught you, but leave it where it's meant to be in the past so you can move forward. Spirit is insisting that you get some much needed rest. Take some time out to relax and replenish yourself. Doing too much has you physically exhausted. So that's why I say I've been doing my little stuff, y'all. I've been having to pace myself because... I'm telling you, like tomorrow, I have to go back to the doctor tomorrow. But the beauty is, though, the girl will get to get some rest because I have a couple, I have like a week or so off from going to PT. I said, won't he do it? What he do it? Who can't I'm trying to tell you. I need that little break. Because it's like... I be wanting to do certain stuff on those days and I can't because some days when they finish with me, y'all, I be done. Like it really I be done. I be having I don't have a ounce for nothing and then I be having to rest my ankle for at least about an hour. So you know what I'm saying? By that time shit you done got comfortable. You know what I mean? Who wants to be bothered with the shit swelling up again? You know? That type of thing, so it's good. It'll give me a chance to get myself back on track a bit. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm grateful for this little time to myself. I just got to make sure I use it wisely. But I love you guys. I will see you guys in your peak at this week. And I hope these messages resonate. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you have not already done so. I appreciate all my new lovers and my loyal lovers. And thank you to everyone who shows love and support. Thank you to the haters as well who try to leave comments and then your comments never appear. But love you nonetheless, okay? I wish you nothing but love, peace, and prosperity in your life because apparently you need it. And I will see you guys in your next one. Peace.